Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we have a tale of two Papermate pens, both blue, both medium point, and one is the Papermate Wright Brothers ballpoint, and the other is the Papermate Inkjoy ballpoint. If you go back a couple of episodes of Always Analog, you'll see that I have recently reviewed these newly designed Papermate Wright Brothers pens. Some people were wondering how they compared to the Inkjoy, particularly because when they redesigned the Wright Brothers pens, not only did they redesign the barrel, they also redesigned the ink. And they do write much better than the old Wright Brothers pens and uh, smoother. And so the question is, is this the same ink in the Wright Brothers pen as the Inkjoy pen? How do they compare side by side? We're going to see if we can find out. Let's just start with the price. Uh, these pens, and keep in mind we're in school supply season, so everything's really discounted right now because everyone's buying school supplies uh, for back to school, but these pens were package of 10, they were 10 cents each, a dollar. This was two dollars, so you know, eight pens, uh, these are 25 cents each. So these pens are, because you only get eight instead of 10, these are more than twice the price of the Wright Brothers. So the Inkjoy is a more expensive pen. Uh, so we've taken a closer look at the Wright Brothers, and if you want to see more, uh, on this, please look at the review that I did a couple of weeks ago. But we're going to look at them. Let me get one out of the package here. So we'll take a look at the actual pen itself. So there's the new Wright Brothers pen, and we're going to get an ink joy out of here. Now I'll tell you that ultra smooth ink, ballpoint. 1.0 millimeter ballpoint pens, which is exactly the same as the Wright Brothers, is a 1.0 millimeter ballpoint pen. Uh, let's take a little closer look at the back cover here on the package. Um, Papermate came out with Inkjoy in 2011. And their big thing was that they were using a low viscosity ink, which really made that ink flow very smooth uh, and very easily uh, across the ball as it was writing. And it, did ma it makes for a very nice writing experience. And so the back, it says, Paper Make Ink Joy. Smooth, reliable, colorful. They're available in 10 colors. These are all blue. They're made in India. Um, it says, uh, the pen you are about to enjoy is sealed for freshness. Please remove the little ball of wax from the tip before use. Now, I will tell you that on the paper mate, there is no ball of wax. There's nothing on the top. Uh, but we'll get to more of the differences in a moment here, but we'll compare and contrast the two pens. So let me, let me open up this package. And the other thing is, you can see this comes in a, you know, a blister pack on a piece of cardboard. And these, the Wright Brothers pens, just come in a cellophane pouch. So even the packaging would lead you to think that this is the superior, the superior pen, and it's priced accordingly. All right, so now we've got our two pens here. Well, 
One is the length is almost the same on the two. I'll tell you right now that the Inkjoy pen, the barrel of the pen, is has a um, more narrow feel to it. Now let me let's zoom in a little closer so we can really look at these pens here. So, uh, and by the way, it is triangular. This pen. I don't know if the camera can quite pick it up, but I think so. You can see when you're looking straight down on the barrel, you can see it has three sides. Uh, so it is a tri triangular shaped barrel as opposed to the uh, Papermate Wright Brothers, which is a completely round barrel. So triangular shape, round shape. Uh, when we look at the actual tips here, then you'll also see that the Wright Brothers is, and the is narrower where the cap sits on the uh, bottom portion of the barrel. So the circumference wise, they are very similar uh, to one another uh, when you, it, it's a little bit of an illusion because the uh, the way that the Wright Brothers pen is shaped, it appears to be wider. But when you look at where the Inkjoy pen flares out, they are about the same circumference. Uh, they both have a a, a stick-on um, cap. So here is the Inkjoy cap. Take a closer look at that. It has a clip for the pocket. It has the trademark double hearts, which is, of course, Paper Mate's uh, trademark. And there you have the embossed imprint there. And then we'll look here. Same thing. We have the two hearts on the clip, and we have it embossed Paper Mate Wright Brothers. So those are the two pens. Different shape barrel. Uh, the paper made, of course, too, is a solid color plastic where the ink joy is translucent. And you can see um, the ink tube through the barrel of the pen, although you cannot see, unlike a Bic, you cannot see where the ink level is in the ink tube, but you can see it through the barrel. So those are the two pens and sort of the physical differences. Now they're both blue and they're both uh, blue ink pens. Uh, whether or not the ink is identical in color when we get it on the page remains to be seen. So we'll see. So let me get a piece of paper here and um, we will take a look. Okay, so here's our pens and I've put the caps on the ends and we're going to get them ready to write. I've got two pieces of identical stationery here side by side so that they're both writing on the exact same paper. Um, so now we'll see. Again, they're both blue. They're both medium 1.0 millimeter tips. So we'll kind of see the feel. Let's start with the Ink Joy. We'll make this the Ink Joy side. And we'll start with the first. Make sure I've got that wax tip off. It's off. And, you know, ink flows freely immediately. So we're going to make this the Paper Mate Ink Joy side of our page. Okay. Then we'll come over here. Again starts immediately and we're going to make this the paper mate
Wright brothers. Okay, so here we go. We have the two. Um, boy, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that maybe you can see the ink is very, very, very close to the same color. And the camera also sometimes can't pick up these real subtle nuances, but the Wright Brothers ink is just a tad darker blue than the Inkjoy ink. Not a lot, but it is just a bit darker. You know it's blue. Uh, you know they're both blue, but I would say the the color of the Wright brothers is a little bit is a little bit darker. Um, so let's see. Let's just put a couple of phrases down and just sort of test for a couple of things. So. actually see what I'm writing would be helpful. Okay, try it over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm trying to see if I can do any smudging. Um, I'm picking up essentially barely a shadow of, of ink on the tips of my finger. Really no visible smearing on the page. So both of these inks is, are relatively fast drying. And I would say in terms of the movement of the ball point very smooth uh -huh. yeah Yeah, very, very nice. I, um, they're both really comfortable. I think the Inkjoy, in terms of holding it because of the triangular shape, is really a comfortable pen. And they use a very hard um, plastic for the barrel. It is, a, it, it is an, an, I, I tend to hold my instruments uh, pretty tightly and it is very comfortable to hold. It really is. But I will say, I never cared for the narrowness of the old Wright Brothers barrel, but this new barrel, uh, which is round, so it's not triangular, uh, is fairly comfortable to hold. Um, and I feel like I have more control of the instrument as I'm holding it. Uh, and I have to tell you, so far, uh, there is, like I said, a slight lighter shade here of blue ink. But in terms of performance, in terms of smoothness, 
they're not that dissimilar, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Again, fast drying ink, um, a true medium line. I would say, of course, they both have the, a 1.0 millimeter ball, so the, the line on the page is virtually identical uh, in terms of its, its boldness, its thickness. Uh, so there's really nothing, nothing too distinct between the two of them. Um, Here's what I will say. There is a slight difference in weight. The ink joy is is it's minimal, but it is discernible. The ink joy is a little heavier of an instrument in terms of weight. And because of that little extra weight, at least my perceived weight, uh, as I hold it, I do feel that that maybe because of the triangular barrel and the weight of the pen itself, that perhaps those elements give me a little bit better control. over my handwriting. Uh, but I have to tell you, this for, for 10 cents, this is a great writing experience right here. But I, I think that the, the material used to create this pen is of, of more substantial means. And it feels like it. Again, that we're just talking about the barrel and the feel of the pen. In terms of ink and performance, these two paper mate siblings or cousins, I don't know uh, how you want to think about the relationship, are real, real similar. Uh, that wasn't the case before the redesign. They, they, they were completely different instruments in, in many, many ways. Wow. So, in conclusion, 
Uh, I have to tell you that I think by a very, very slight edge, the paper mate is, uh, has a better writing feel than does the Wright brothers in terms of what we're holding in our hand as we are pushing and pulling the instrument to create the writing on the page. Okay, just that, that tangible element of the feel. In terms of performance, they are so, so similar. And if you really like a darker blue, you know, if you don't like to write with black, as I don't, I prefer to write with blue, but and you want it darker, the Wright Brothers pen will give you just a bit darker shade of blue. Uh, perhaps maybe more of a truer navy blue than the Inkjoy pen. But there you have it. So, you know, potato, potato. Uh, I guess it comes down to preference and how it feels in your hand. And perhaps somebody with different size you know, fingers and a different size hand or somebody who might hold a pen differently than I hold the pen, uh, who might grip less tightly on the instrument than I do, someone who is a left-handed writer. Uh, these variations could change how you might respond to either one of these instruments. Look, Neither one of them is an expensive pen, so try them both and see which one you like. But like I said, that is comparing and contrasting these two uh, longtime staples of the school and office supply aisle, the Papermate Wright Brothers pen with its new design and the Papermate Inkjoy pen. So, anyways, thank you for spending some time with me and kind of going through this analysis of these two pens. And I appreciate it very much. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Always Analog.